man, look, I've got to go. I've got a customer I have to pick up. I'll be there in maybe half an hour. See ya. Hi, Alison. Hey. So sorry I'm late. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, let me get that for you. Well, thank you. So, Alison, doesn't sound like you're from around here. No, I'm from Russia. <laughs> Welcome to sunny Australia. Thank you. What brings you to this lovely country? Uh, well, I'm here for a job and um, my boyfriend actually lives here. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's been here for a while, so... It's very hot here. Yes, it'll get worse. Oh, no. <laughs> you might get used to it. Maybe. Yeah, just leave it now. Are you there yet? He what? So who's meeting me there? Good day, Miss Haven. You may call me Ivan. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is all mine, sir. I could not wait to arrive here. You came all the way from Russia, right? Yes, Russia. Uh, called Pino St. Petersburg. All the way here to Perth? Jeez, Charles must have seen some potential in you. Well, he said there was a lot in my regime I would be qualified for. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, Charles called in sick, so he won't be coming in. But I'm his supervisor, and I think I'm in some position to stand in for him. Of course. So tell me, what do you know about TeleQ? Uh, established in the early 90s, specialising in telecommunications. Wait, no, I mean, what do we do here? What is my section about? <clears throat> Customers? Correct. Our bread and butter. We get thousands of calls from all different types of people and it is your job to serve their every need. Now, I have a test here for you. Customer related, of course. Uh, I'm gonna pop out for half an hour and when I get back, we'll go over your answers. Thank you, sir. Detective Gill. He said the transfer was for just one prisoner. Yeah, and now he's on the run. Almost two hours. These two were his escorts. They blew a tire up on the highway and pulled in here to change it. After a few minutes, the escapee asks if he can take a leak. And after a few refusals, Clark strips the threads on one of the bolts. And Wilcox decides it's only fair to let the detainee... Bremer. Bremer out. Bremer knocks out Wilcox with a single blow to the head and Clark, who had no idea any of this was taking place, is knocked out himself. They're both lucky to be alive. A two hour head start and who knows what direction. Obviously that way. I took a look at your answers and uh, honestly, I need to sit down with Charles when he gets back. Meaning you didn't fare well. For instance, it says here you'd ask the management to write a formal letter of apology to this customer and yada yada yada, and a full refund would be in place, but that won't do. Afraid I don't quite understand. Professionally speaking, Miss Haven, I like you. But every customer that calls up, pissed off or not, is a potential buyer for any one of our products. Your job is to cajole or hustle them into buying an alternative product. 
Then, and only then, have you done your job as far as I'm concerned. But whatever happened to customers always right? That's the trick. You're to make them think they're right by taking up another product. The customer's first thing is just something that we print. I was really expecting you to sift that out, but based on what you've given me, you can't. A real agent would know how to wear both hats. I flew 10,000 kilometers for this. Charles said I definitely get it. I don't know how else to put this, but he was wrong. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Respectfully, Miss Haven, that is not my problem. You may leave now. The lady said that he was sweet, came in wearing greasy overalls and uh, said he had a lunch date with a girl, but he forgot a change of clothes. He looks like he tossed something. He's a lot smarter than I gave him credit for. He knows damn well we'll track those credit cards. Get started questioning people, see if anyone saw him. You come with me to the bus station, see if he got on a bus. Ma'am, uh, what was he wearing? What the hell is going on here? I thought you were coming tomorrow. <laughs> no, we said Thursday. Just relax, baby. Just go outside and let me take care of her first and then we'll... No. No. I'm done here. Alison! That's the prick there. When was this? Time stamp says 9.32 a.m. Yeah, Daniels? Sorry, I got held up. Yeah, I'm on my way now. No, 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 hang on. Where was that bus headed? The city. I need you to go to the city bus depot. Bus depot? Excuse me, Excuse me. Hi there, Detective Daniels, the state police. How are you doing today? I'm just having my partner come around and ask if you want to. Hey, sorry to disturb you. Have you seen this guy at all? No, not at all. Hey there. Some information. 
much more going with our fidgetings. Uh, all under control at the moment, of course. Thank you very much. Well, that was exciting. Should we just head to the next spot? Yeah, let's. Cool. Hold on, I'll go to the toilet. Well, why didn't you say that? Oh, I guess I'll get us some coffee. And I'm talking to myself. Do you mind if I borrow some sugar? Yeah, sure. your guns and get inside before I shoot her. Please don't. Oh, shut up. Don't make me say it again. Drop your guns there and get on the floor. Now. That's right. Faces down. You. Yes, you. Come over here and handcuff them behind their backs. That's right. Now handcuff his around her so they're looped together. Do it! Now everyone, get out the back into the kitchen! I said everyone! <laughs> Safe to assume that you don't mean us as well, right? BMW. Bremer was apprehended by authorities three years ago during a bank robbery in East Perth in which his young hey, brother pig. Alex Bremer was shot and killed by police. I'm not finished. Finish yourself. I'm done. As they tried to escape. Police are not releasing the name of the hostage at this time. A fourth member of the West Bank robbery is still unknown. This is the scene where just over an hour ago, Brock Bremer was almost apprehended by two police officers inside a cafe. In a desperate move, he grabbed a young woman who he has taken hostage. Fugitive Brock Bremer was being escorted to a court hearing this morning. They're saying it was all very routine, but the vehicle blew a tyre and Bremer escaped as officers were dealing with the situation. We are being warned that Bremer is armed and extremely dangerous, and it is asked that you do not attempt to approach or apprehend him yourself. Instead, call crime. What are you doing? Where are we going in here? Please, I have to know. You're all right. Not going to do anything to harm you. Just getting another car. Now this is where you need to seriously behave. You follow my lead, nobody gets hurt. Do you understand me? 
Okay, you keep your mouth shut, I'll do the talking. Out this side. Can you get one for me, please? Andrews, good news, mate. I heard you're working with Gill on the case. Oh, you're fucking joking. <sighs> oh, I'm going to get some caffeine. Uh, kinda. There you are, Andrews. Get over here. I know this isn't easy for you both, but we've got a kidnapping on our hands and I need as much help as possible. Now, what have we got so far? Alison Haven just flew in from St. Petersburg. She has uh, paperwork for an interview in West Perth. Russia? Mm, talk about unlucky. Get some leads. He may contact some old friends or family. There's no telling what he might do to her. Look, I'm not asking the two of you to kiss and make up. But I am asking you to be fucking professional. Understood. Go! Go! God damn it. Security guard Peter Townsend. Fugitive Brock Bremer, who was serving 18 years for the armed robbery of West Bank Branch in East Perth three years ago. Authorities have advised to be on the lookout for the suspect as he is considered armed and extremely dangerous. You're exaggerating. Whoa, hey, I said keep him up. My arms are getting tired. I need to know you're not going to do anything. There's nothing I cannot do from here that I can do from here. Fine. Please don't do anything. I think we're in the clear now. I didn't mean to yell at you earlier. I didn't, I'm not like that. I just had to be convincing, you know? Are you gonna let me go? Not yet, I can't. You heard what it just said. Every cop in the state will be looking for me at the moment. If they catch up to me and I'm on my own, I'm dead. Everything I owned was in that cafe. I'm sure you'll get everything back. The cops, they would have held it for you somewhere. I'll let you go as soon as I can and then you can get back to whatever you were doing. I have nothing to go back to. I came here for a job. I was guaranteed it 100%. Then the man that I spoke to wasn't there and sent some other man gave me some stupid test and kicked me out. What's the job? Telemarketing company. I was meant to hang out with my boyfriend after that, but then I caught him fucking some other slut. I was meant to be hanging out with him today. No job, asshole boyfriend, you kidnapped me. Look, I don't know what kind of asshole cheats on a girl like you, but I definitely know you're better off without him. As for that asshole kidnapper of yours, tell me who he is and I'll kick his ass. 
I'm really sorry about this morning. My name's Brock. Alison. Where are you from again? Colpino. Well, Alison from Colpino. You and I are going to go visit an old friend of mine. The prick ran off with my money. Flip it over. See the bulgy one? Peel it up. Now open that door. Don't make a sound. Brian. Brock. Uh, oh, man, you almost gave me a heart attack. I've been watching you on the news, man. You're big time, Shut Brian. up, Brian. Hey, you know there's shit all I could do to save you, right? You gotta know that, man. Where's my cut? I need to get out of here. Where's the bag, Brian? I don't have it. Bullshit. I fucking saw you grab it and run. Yeah, I, I grabbed it, but... Good. Go get it. I can't, man. What do you mean you can't? You fucking better not have spent it. I'm trying to explain to you. I don't have it. Mason took off with the cash bag. The bag I grabbed from Elliot had these, uh, uh, these little wrapped black bags in them. Of what? Diamonds, man. I don't know anything about diamonds, but they were big. You can point that gun in my face all you want, but I don't have the cash, man. It was your dumbass brother that grabbed the wrong bag. How would he know he grabbed the wrong bag? They were identical, Please, asshole. Stop! Don't kill him. You've got your answer. Not yet, I don't. How do I know you're not bullshitting me, Brian? Look around, man. Would I be living in my dad's shit all if I was cashed up? I'd be in an island somewhere. Not here. I've got no way to move those things. So you still got them? Kinda. Explain kinda, Brian. You have to tell me where they are, man. Alright. They're in a locker at Perth train station. The key's in the drawer, under the magazines there, behind your lady. You're definitely going to come back? Absolutely. In all the reports you've seen today of the last few hours, and all of the coverage you got back on that day, did you ever hear your name once? No. Why do you think that is? Probably because they don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, Brian, gonna have to cut this short. to you, but I need that bag, okay? I know a guy, we can move him for no worries, but I can't do shit if I'm broke. Okay? Are we 
we going to get the bags? No, not yet. Just too busy. How do you know Mason? Brian knew Mason, and Mason knew the bank. He said that there was a load of cash and we should hit it soon. He did? Like Robin. And he knew diamonds were in there? Apparently so. Howdy, fat fuck. Mason, what are you doing here? Where are my diamonds, Brian? I don't know. You did get away with my diamonds, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Did you give them to Brock? What gives you that impression, man? <laughs> Perhaps it was one of those cops. They could have easily gotten away with them. Yeah, 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 maybe. I mean, if they've got them now, there's no point, right? There's no, there's no room. <laughs> Where the fuck are they? Brock was here, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. I don't have him, I swear. <laughs> I don't need you, you slimy prick! You fat fuck! You stubborn bastard! What took you so long? I've smoked half a pack of waiting for you ladies. Fuck off, Andrew. Mr. Bremer? I wonder. I'm sure you're aware that your nephew escaped custody this morning. I understand that he was close to you? Was there a question in there? Were you close to Brock, Mr. Bremer? Yes, I was. Not anymore. Prison records state that he'd been sending you letters for three years. Never open any of them. I've got them out for you. Only thing I know is the idiot robbed the bank. Hmm. His testimony says it was to take care of his father's finances. As in your brother, right? Mr. Bremer. I'm trying to understand why Brock felt the need to rob a bank for money to help his father when his brother had the means to help him out. Are you implying that I had something to do with it? I was a doctor detective. Do you know what that's like? I loved him. But he was a very, very stubborn man. I could have given him the whole lot, but he would not take it. How was your business doing at the time of the robbery? If you're here to look for Brock, he's not here. If I'm honest, I can't wait till you get him and put him back where he belongs. If you want to charge me for anything, then charge me. Letters, right? And none of them were open. I'd say he's more than a little pissed off at Brock. Or maybe he just brought up the financial state of his company. Unopened letters aren't enough to put my mind at ease that he had nothing to do with Brock or that Brock won't be turning up here for help. Get someone to keep watch. Already on it. Andrews, Clark. Where's Gil? She went with Daniels to take care of a wiretap. What have you got? Well, we just found your stolen Beamer, but looks like Brock's now getting around in a silver hole. Yeah, the owners confirmed it. We pulled this from the database. All right, license plate, GPS, and pictures. All the information's here. Nice work. We'll need to get those out. Do you mind making us a few more copies? Yeah, sure, no worries. Leave it with me.
So Brock's got a new car. Better let Gil now. Yeah, whatever. Oh wait, need to get a photo of that document. Hey Chris, wait up. Hey! You okay? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Who the hell was that? I don't know, but he went that way. All right, you two go around, you go that way. We'll cut him off. Go! Clear. Clear. I thought you didn't recognize me. Well, you didn't tell us you were working the case. There was no time. All right. There's a South Street exit. There'll be no coppers blocking the path. Go. Move. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, hey! It's me. Put it down. Did you see him? No, nah, there was no one here. He must have gotten away. Did you recognize him? No, I didn't, but he seemed very interested in the car Brock was driving. Okay. I thought I heard you in there with someone. No, it's just me. Yeah. All right, yeah. We're on our way. That was Gil. We found one of Brock's friends dead. Come on, let's go. When I was 17, I bought my granddad's 1960 XK Falcon. The next weekend, I sold it for twice what I paid for it. That moment, I was hooked. I was making more money in one weekend than my dad made in a month. One weekend I bought a 69 GT Falcon for a ridiculously low price. Then, a week later, I learned it was fake. Now, I don't know what kind of fuckwit sells a fake car from an actual home and doesn't expect repercussions, but these idiots did. They never did find their bodies, but it did teach me that I don't mind taking care of business myself. Now, a few years back, I bought something from a trustworthy guy. But he took my money, got himself killed, and my shit got locked up in a bank. I couldn't get to it. A few months later, I saw an opportunity to tag along with a few morons who could do the job for me, take the fall, and I grabbed my bag back. Easy, right? Except, one of them got my bag, got the cops called, and fucked up the entire job. An easy job turned into a shit fight, and I nearly got put away for trying to get what was rightfully mine. So I need your help, because we're racing against the cops to find him. That fucker on TV who escaped his prison transfer, he knows where my shit is, and I want him alive. When he gives up the location, and I get my bag back, you all get 100K. So I suggest you get going. If the cops get him first, it's over.
Brian Nichols. Address is in Armadale. It's not here. He was on the suspect list for the robbery. We never had enough evidence to link him, and then we couldn't actually find him to question him. Yeah, I remember checking this place out. His dad was adamant he hadn't seen him in months. We even staked out the place. Now, if he was here at the time, he never left the building. No one ever saw him. Someone had him shit scared. Bremer has a police issue Glock, yeah? Yeah. Well, either he picked up a Magnum, or this was someone else. Funny you might say that. Our buddy Brian landed a blow on his attacker. I think we have two sets of blood. 100 bucks. Says these have Bremer's blood all over him. Maybe we should find the father before jumping to conclusions. Who's watching the Bremer graves? Where are we? Uncle's place. All right, put your hands together on that. Fred, I thought I was coming with you. It's been a while since he's seen me. I don't know how he's going to react to me being here, let alone bringing a hostage with me. So come on. Chertov, idiot. I'm not going to be long. Have you lost your mind? Only slightly. Please tell me you didn't bring the hostess to my home. Are you trying to get me arrested along with you? She's safe, but I need her. If they catch me and I'm alone, they'll shoot the shit out of me. Anyway, how have you been? You didn't reply to any of my letters. What did you want me to say? Hello would have been a good start. I don't want to be any part of it. Uncle Ross, you I mean, need to go. I know you're pissed, but there's no other way we could help him. What made you think that you could help even if you pulled it off? We weren't going to take no for an answer. You gave up too easily. What do you want me to do? I offered to pay for everything. He refused it. He kicked me out of his home. What do you want me to do? Go back in so he can kick me out again? I didn't come here to argue. Look, I don't know how this is all going to turn out. I just want to see you and say I'm sorry. Okay? Sorry. Rocky boy. This all I have on me. Please let the poor girl go. As soon as I can, Uncle. Thank you. Good to see you, Auntie Jan. You too. Oh, wow. Oh, hello to you too. Aren't you beautiful? Can I get you some food? Yes. Boss, found him. Looks like he's grown fond of his hostage. All right, stay on him. Keep your distance. We'll 
join you as soon as possible. Chicken, cheese and mayo. That's it? Yeah. Maybe a bit of salt and pepper. But Jan makes the bread though. Simple, but the best I've tried. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Why rob a bank? Why not just work for the money? It was a timing thing. My dad got cancer. Our? Elliot, my brother. Our dad needed heaps of treatment, which was fine. But he had no income insurance and was going to lose the family home. We all grew up there. Mum died there. We didn't want him to lose as much as he did. But after not paying, the bank wanted the amount owing. Elliot and I had to come up with about 50k and had no way of getting it. On the radio, they call you a police killer. I didn't kill anyone. The guy, the one that Brian was talking about, Mason, he obviously had another agenda. He shot a security guard and a cop. The cop that had me down shot Elliot. Oh. He pointed his gun at the cop. Of course the cop was going to shoot him. Sorry, I've had too long to think about this. No, it's okay. My day could have been worse, you know. What, today? Yeah, this morning. I was thinking about what I would have done next. He would have needed a job. I was relying on the income and a boyfriend. When those two things fell through, I had nothing left I had planned here. What? Why are you smiling? The job ditched me. I saw Todd ditch me. You took me. You were the only person who actually needed me today. I could just have stuff to go. Thank you. Please take care of me. I love you. I love you too, See you soon. What now? We wait till after dark, and then we find out what's in that locker. Brock. Why don't you just forget about it? Why don't you just leave and get away from here? You don't need to die for this. I lost my dad and Elliot in this shit. I can't sit back and watch that prick rip the rewards. Go! <laughs> get the fuck out of here now! Go! Go! Come on! Move it! Go!
Call for backup. Andrews, tell Gil to get over here, fast. Yeah, whatever.
Have a seat, Andrews. Just spoke to Gil. Yeah, and? And I just wanted to hear some more details. What more do you want me to say? We came close but broke it away, along with Alison. Why was there another gang at that cemetery? They must have been Brock's men. They saw us coming and uh, all hell broke loose. Hmm. Gil kind of feels the same. But if they were Brock's men, how were you able to go in and save Alison in the middle of that damn crossfire? Just lucky, I guess. Look, I know you've got a big network, Andrews. You wouldn't by some chance happen to have ties with that gang, would you? Oh, come on, Chief. Of course not. I mean, everyone knows that I've got connections, but there is no way that I'd go that far. You know, there are some things I'm willing to let slide, Andrews. But where I draw the line is when our men get killed. I had high hopes for Daniels. Kid was a prodigy. Well, not anymore, Chief, sorry to say. I'm going to get answers, Andrews. Make no mistake. Remember, you're only still in this force because you saved my neck years ago. I haven't forgotten it. Just don't push it. Yeah, OK, Chief. Now, if you don't mind, I need to finish that report that you asked for. Yeah, what? How's it going? What do you think? The fucker got away. Yeah, well listen, something else came up. I need to see you in an hour. Are you okay? I got all the medical supplies I could find and some vodka. That should be enough. Let's get the room and get this mess cleaned up, okay? This is unexpected, Andrews. Evidently, you got something to tell me. What the fuck is it? Go on, Andrews, spit it out. Look, after what happened today, I can't continue with this, all right? I'm backing out. Hold on, I still need you to find Brock. One of our own got killed in that cemetery. I once told you what would happen if things got shaky. Gil and the Chief are beginning to suspect me. I didn't shoot your cop. That was your fault. You wanted the share of the diamonds. You knew the risks. And I once told you, when the ball starts rolling, no one fucking quits. I knew you would say that. <laughs> I didn't think you'd go down easy. I always knew you had fucking greasy friends. <laughs> you have no idea. Jackson! Toss him.
Just find Brock, and you're off the hook. Jackson, let's go. saved me. Well, I needed someone to patch me up, didn't I? In through here, out through there. Very lucky. Jen really gave us everything. Dessert even. Thanks. Some pastries. They look nice. How do you know Jen? She was mum's best friend growing up. She was always like an auntie to us, but when mum died, we didn't get to see her that much. When did your mum die? Oh, way back when I was 13, which is when Elliot and I started stealing shit. I used to think we just had to get it out of our system, but when we stopped, I realised we are just trying to make life feel real again. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Did your father ever remarry? Nah, mum was his one. In fact, when he got sick, all he used to say was, he can't wait to be with her. We wanted him to fight. What? Are you okay? Not even remotely. I'm shitting myself, mate. You're not alone, buddy. Adult nappies, man. That's what we need for jobs like this. Adult fucking nappies. It's okay to be nervous. This one's bigger than the others. Just concentrate on your breathing and remember why we're doing this. Nice car. You can thank Brian for this hunk of junk. Hey, I won't have anyone saying anything bad about old Jesse. Does it run?
What's wrong? We fell asleep. We have to go now. I'm glad you are letting her go now. But you want to make sure she's safe. That's why you called, right? I really have no one, Uncle. I need a big favour. All right, I can be at the bridge in one hour. Gil. Detective Gill, it's Vivian Eves from comms. We just picked up a call from Brock Bremer to Ross Bremer, asked to pick up the girl at the Horseshoe Bridge. Yeah, I know where that is. Are they there now? If he was telling the truth, she should be there for at least the next half hour. Thanks. Please don't leave me here. I want to be with you. I want to help. I don't want you to get hurt. I can't risk that. I need you to wait here for Ross. I have to finish this. What? He's at the train station. He's left the girl at the Horseshoe Bridge. I bet you he's gone after the diamonds. You just saved your own life there, buddy. Good work. Yeah, whatever. Dean, Lauren. If you see Mason's men, kill him. Get everyone ready. Oh, tell them if they see Andrews, to shoot him. It's uh, Detective Gill from Perth Homicide. Who am I speaking to? Edwards, what I'm about to tell you is strictly confidential. You're not to share this with anyone until we arrive. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you as soon as you get here.
Hey, how are you doing? Just fine, Detective Andrews. There's a suspect in the train station. We need your help. No problem. I spoke to Detective Gill. Where is she? Uh, she's gone on ahead. She's a pain in the ass. We need to get into your security office to check your videos. No problem. It's this way. Let's go. Good work, mate. You get used to it. Get ready, Brock's coming your way. I'm going after Brock. Boss, it's Andrews. He's gunning for us. That fucking wanker! Go after him! Do what you can! Foxy, bring that bitch over! Brock, over here. We're police, it's all right. We know you're innocent, we want to help you. Shoot him! after him. Andrews, I got the bag! Fuck!
out of my bed! Wait! Just hang on! Surely by now you know there's more to this than just catching me! Don't try and rationalise this, you're my highest priority! Look, just hear me out! Mason's behind all of this, including your own guys! What guys? Your buddy Andrews! Him and his mates has tried to fucking kill me! I know none of this makes sense, but just check the other side of the car park and you'll see what I mean. Listen. Mason's got Allison, and he's waiting for me outside. You can shoot me if you want, but I have to save her. Checkmate, Brock. You drop your weapon, I take my diamonds, and you get your girl. We can all win. Nothing brings my brother back. You used us. If anything, I avenged your brother. Asshole. If we weren't there as your pawns in the first place, Elliot would still be alive. Well, it's all semantics. Throw me the bag or you lose your girl. I want your word. What does that even matter? What choice do you have? Throw me the bag, and you get your girl. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. Win. Not this time. You're 
okay. I'll get you help. It's okay. You're going to be okay. I don't want to be okay without you. I love you. Don't leave me. Detective Girl told me everything. She's busy with Allison now. Turns out your nephew Brock is quite a man. Will he be all right? He's going to be just fine. We'll take good care of Brock. But uh, what's going to happen to him? Well, I'm not a judge. I'd say he'll get a reduced sentence. So he's going back to prison? Only for a while. Again, Considering everything he's done for us, uh, helping us take down the Masons gang. Look, I know it's not the greatest news, but saving a life twice, I think Alison will want to wait for him. She'll need somewhere to live. Uh, you'll have to take care of her. For Brock. All right, I will take care of her till my nephew gets out. Do you have them? <laughs> 